Howdy there, neighborinos. It's your friendly old neighbor, Stout Man. I'm not Ned Flanders. <laughs> but yeah, um, I recently moved, as you can tell, as uh, I've already gone over. <laughs> and one of the things I was most excited about with this move is that there are a bunch of places right around here that have some pretty damn good deals on things like some nice thrifting locations if you will so I was really excited to check those out once I got here and just as kind of a you know to go out in the town and see what's around here and just get our bearings and kind of thing um, we went out today and I visited a bunch of different places looking specifically for a new desk because this one is too big, it's not going to work out for me, and I want to put a desk that's basically right where all my DVDs behind me are. And then I'll move them into this corner, essentially. It'll free up a lot of room, honestly, and then I won't have to bang my knees every time I try to get in and out from the fucking desk, which is a really an, a huge annoyance. So, yeah, although that was the main goal, eventually, because I realized I wasn't going to find what I was looking for... I uh, just decided, screw it, I'm going to go around and look at the Blu-ray and DVD sections in these places, you know. And uh, I found a few things. Uh, particularly, I, I only found one thing in the locations where I was looking for, like, a desk. Then after I gave up on the whole desk thing, I went over to a Half Price Books outlet. So, for those of you who know what Half Price Books is, it's, you know... It's a place that has a bunch of, like, used and sometimes new books. And then they have DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff like that. you got to imagine them like a uh, Barnes & Noble, except for with affordable things. Because that's kind of what you're getting there. Anyways, if the, if the regular half-price books are affordable, the half-price books outlet is even cheaper. And then today everything was half off. And when I say that, I mean it was half off of half off. D d comprende? It, everything in the store was 50% off of the regular 50% off price tag. Does, is that computing for you? I'm glad I came when I did. This is a sign from the heavens that I have found my nirvana. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to hold off on showing you that haul to show you what I picked up at Goodwill, first of all. Because this was an interesting little find. Something that I've wanted in my collection and I didn't really want to pay too much for. Pretty sure it's not on Blu-ray, but uh, yeah. The computer... War tennis shoes here from Disney. Uh, this is one that I believe was previously only available through their their not Disney Movie Rewards, but the other thing that they have, where you can only get certain titles through that particular means. I don't remember what they call it, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the only way to get it. And then eventually, it became available through Disney Movie Rewards, actually, and now you can find it on. Uh, Amazon for about 10 bucks new, but uh, yeah, I found this there everything actually everything in like the DVD section was half off again It's a sign from the heavens above But yes uh, I found this in there their normal normal price on DVDs were three ninety nine, which is <laughs> Gee, I hope that half off price is just something that they always do because Damn. But yes, $3.99 originally, half of that was $2. So I said, yeah, $2. I'll pay $2 for the computer war tennis shoes. Seems like a good deal to me. And yeah, I I think I made a good choice here. I haven't seen this in the longest time. I think the last time that I actually saw this was when I was a kid. And they showed this on the Disney Channel way back in the day when the Disney Channel was still pretty fucking cool. You know, when they showed Disney Masterpiece Theater and stuff like that, and randomly, instead of commercials, they would show, like, old Disney cartoons and stuff like that. That is the way Disney Channel should be. 
but I digress. That was the only thing I picked up at Goodwill. Everything else was at half price books. And before I even walked in the door, I found my first purchase for a quarter. Actually, since everything is half off of that price, I paid half of a quarter, 12.5 cents, which rounded up would become 13 cents. So for 13 cents, I decided to pick up The Muppet Christmas Carol on VHS. I know what you're thinking. Why did you get the VHS copy of The Muppet Christmas Carol? Well, allow me to answer you that question. The Muppet Christmas Carol on both DVD and Blu-ray does not have the When Love Is Gone song in it. Because Disney, in their infinite fucking stupidity, thought, well, that song's too sad for a happy Christmas movie. This is, I remind you, a Christmas carol movie. D did I not, did, did I lie when, it, when I was talking about the, uh, the stupidity factor? I mean, come on, that's, that's stupid. But yes, so in their infinite stupidity, they decided not to add that particular scene and song into the cut of the movie that made it onto DVD and Blu-ray. But it is available in, I believe, on like the full screen version of the movie on DVD and in the VHS copy here. I didn't want to buy the DVD again. I guess I could, but wasn't really too important to me, especially since it's basically just, you know, it's a slightly higher quality version of what you're going to get on here. It's full screen. It's only available in full screen. The only cut of it that apparently exists anymore is the cut that came from the print that went onto this particular VHS. So I figured, you know what? Maybe I can work my magic. Maybe I can record that particular song and then you know, do some editing magic and make it look all nice and, well, I don't know. Maybe. By the way, I found um, a, da what are they called? A Dazzle or something like that? It's a capture device specifically for things like VHS. So, that might actually work better than what I have been using. So, yeah. I had this, I had it back in the day, and I used it for something else entirely. Then I found it in a box recently while we were moving, and I'm like, oh my god, oh, I might be able to use that. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, 13 cents. <laughs> I guess we'll go from uh, cheapest to most expensive, which I didn't pay more than 250 for anything that I got today at Half Price Books. So, yeah. Let's start off with the 50 cent DVD that I got. Broken Flowers, a Jim Jarmusch movie starring, of course, Bill Murray. Uh, this is an absolutely excellent movie from Jim Jarmusch. If you're not familiar with the name, then you really should be. He's done a lot of amazing work. If you haven't seen any of it, you need to see Down By Law. You need to see Night on Earth. Uh, both of these, by the way, are Criterion Edition, or on Criterion. One's only on, Night on Earth is only on DVD. Down by Law is available on Blu-ray. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, Mystery Train? Mystery Train is excellent, and it's on Blu-ray, too. Uh, Jim Jarmusch does a lot of, like, you got to imagine him kind of like the Coen Brothers, right? He's definitely a lot different from the Coen Brothers, but he does a lot of movies in the same kind of style, as what you would expect from the Coen Brothers. So, yeah, if, if you like the Coen Brothers, you're probably going to like this movie. Get a, I kind of think of him, I'm liking him to, like, a combination in style, uh, a combination of Wes Anderson and the Coen Brothers. So, yeah, take from that what you will. But, yes, this is a really excellent movie. I absolutely love it. And to get it for 50 cents is a really good deal, especially when it's not available on Blu-ray, to my knowledge, at least. The only way, at least, to get it in the States is here on DVD. So, 50 cents for that damn good deal. 
Next up, I got a movie that I have been trying to get in my collection for a while, simply because I haven't seen it yet, and I have been really interested in watching it, and that is Radioland Murders, which, as you can see here, was $4 initially, came down to $2 after half off. Radioland Murders, for those who don't know, was written by George Lucas, and it it sounds like a really cool movie. I haven't seen it yet, right? But I got it so that I could watch it. And, uh, yeah, it's only available on DVD, uh, to my knowledge at least. It's not available on Blu-ray. And it stars a lot of pretty interesting, notable uh, actors and whatnot. And it just sounds like a cool kind of a, a Clue kind of movie. You know, a movie like Clue, but not necessarily Clue. Set during, of course, the uh, radio era, the when radio was huge back in like the 20s and 30s and whatnot. So yeah, I am definitely excited to finally be able to check this out, especially for a low price of two bucks. The one I was really, really hoping to find actually was uh, what was it? It's the Chevy Chase movie about the guy, Memoirs of an Invisible Man. Yeah. I haven't seen that movie in so long, but I absolutely rem I remember absolutely loving it. And it's only available on DVD. It's only available uh, in widescreen in the Snapper case, I believe. And it's just really fucking hard to find it nowadays because it's out of print, obviously. So if somebody could bring that to Blu-ray, I would very much appreciate it. For fuck's sake, it's a great movie. And I bet you there would be a lot of demand for it. It's Chevy Chase. Come on. Come on. So, yeah. Um, that being said, at least one of the movies that I've been wanting to get on DVD, I picked up here for two bucks. And that... That is... Uh, actually, that's not the last movie I got. But the next three pickups that I got were TV on DVD. They're TV sets on DVD. And they were all $2 each. $2 for entire seasons of a TV show. So I'll start off here with Aqua Teen Hunger Force Volume 4. I have Volumes 1 through 3 already, so to get Volume 4, and it was the only one they had there. Uh, pretty good deal, pretty good awesome find there. So as you can see, it was $4 initially, came down to $2 after the half off. And yeah, the uh, the discs are in great condition. It was all in pretty good condition. So, two bucks. I wasn't gonna pass that up. I don't think I've actually seen all the episodes in this volume yet. So, another pretty cool bonus to that. But I can tell you, I've seen all of the episodes in each of the uh, sets that I'm about to show you. So first off, we have Family Guy, Volume Two, Season Three. The first volume, of course, I already have, has Seasons 1 and 2 in it. Volume 2 here has Season 3, which has all of Season 3 in it. In three discs, or on three discs, I should say. And back when they did these, they had them all, like, eight episodes per disc kind of thing. Which, it's alright, it's just, you know kind of stretching it and make means that they couldn't do as much of the bonus features as so many people have become familiar with when it comes to the Family Guy sets. So, and I, I haven't been able to check those out yet, or at least I haven't been able to check any out that weren't already on the first set there. So, um, yeah, from what I've heard about how good the, the commentaries in particular can be on these and how interesting they can be, I, yeah, I have been wanting to get back into collecting these and these at least the first few volumes like the second third and fourth and fifth and sixth volume all those are fairly affordable no matter where you look at this point and to be able to find them in pretty good condition like this here at half price books for two bucks each yeah that's that's a very good deal i guess i just gave away what the next one was but yeah there's volume two season three and here's volume three. Uh, they also had volume... Fuck, I think it was volume 11 or something like that. 
and I was contemplating getting it because it was also two dollars but I'm like I don't want to get something that I don't have the the like I, I don't want to get volume I don't want to have like volumes one through three and then randomly volume 11 kind of thing and I I looked at the discs and they weren't in really good condition so I decided not to get that particular set sadly I mean it's a good deal it's two dollars for one of the newer family guy sets yeah that's it's a pretty good deal but um yeah even to get this set for two bucks when I don't have it in my collection yet like nah, that's a pretty good deal and I checked the discs and they were all in pretty good condition uh, I should mention that for both of these there were multiple sets there there were like five copies of this and three copies of this so I was able to actually go through each one of them and see which ones had bad discs and which ones had good discs to make sure that I got the best possible copy there for two bucks and I did I got two sets here that are in really good condition so sweet two bucks and then last but not least the last thing that I picked up was a Blu-ray for two dollars and fifty cents. The initial price was five dollars, came down to two fifty, and I said, you know what? It is time. It is time to finally pick this up. The Spirit on Blu-ray. Now, what I have to say about this is that I don't think it's a bad movie. I watched it a long time ago, and I needed to rewatch it again in order to like really get my thoughts and feelings on it like fully out there but when I initially watched it I didn't think it was necessarily a bad movie I didn't think it was great but I didn't hate it I thought it was actually fairly entertaining very stylish I love the stylishness behind this movie in fact and that's part of the reason that I wanted to get in my wanted to get it in my collection so yeah, especially when you consider that you get uh, Sammy L. Jackson here, who can do no wrong, all right? Um, yeah, the spirit was actually really interesting. I'll, I'll put it that way. It's interesting. Uh, it, it has its issues. It's not perfect, but it's pretty interesting. My main gripe with it is that when you compare it to, like, the original spirit, it's just it does not doesn't feel right you know but this was never going to be the original spirit if you saw the trailers leading up to this especially like the initial one that got everybody all fucking hyped then you had to know even from then this has nothing to do with that fucking spirit i mean come on it's fucking obvious but uh that doesn't necessarily make it a bad movie it's just maybe not as close to the source material as maybe you want it to be but I thought it was fairly entertaining I think it's like a 6 out of 10 at least and who knows I'll, maybe I'll watch it again and think it's even better than that I don't know but ultimately to pay two fifty for it yeah that's a fair price for the spirit I think especially considering you can get it for between like 3 and 5 bucks typically anyways if you, if you go on Amazon right now, I'm sure somebody will be selling it for about five bucks, you know. It's not necessarily hard to find or come by. It's not necessarily something that's uber expensive everywhere you look. So, 250 it wasn't like the greatest deal ever, right? But it was the kind of price you're willing to pay, you know what I mean? That'll do it for me. Thanks for watching, you guys. Peace.